Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today we are going to uh, explain the aggregate node, which is a very interesting node and a very useful one as well. Uh, we'll go through that today and I'll explain how to use it. But before I start, I'd like to point your attention to my store. Here you will find all of my workflows in N eight N. The ones that I cover in the lessons and the ones that are outside of the lessons as well. You're free to download it, resell it, uh, use it for your own automations. Uh, and yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. And also I have this N8N for beginners course. If, you, if you're if you moving from make, if you're starting out or if you need a refresher, this would be a great way for you to get started. Okay. I'll leave the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's start. So I am in N8N here. I'm gonna create workflow or I'm gonna use this button that nobody uses. All right, so now I'm here. I like to rename my workflows. So this will be the aggregate node. All right, let's start. So I have my first step here. So I can click this or I can click this that nobody uses. Uh, so I'm gonna trigger manually as always. So this means that I only need to click this for it to start and I cannot activate it. Okay, so let's search. First, we need to get some data. So let's get some data in. So sheet, I will get the rows from our famous uh, contact sheet here. I'm going to get it by ID and I am going to select the sheet. <clears throat> so by testing, you will get all the data that you will see here. Okay, exactly as is, as you can see in the JSON view, that is very beautiful. Okay. So now I have my seven items here. Now I can aggregate. Let's search for the aggregate. So as you can see the icon, if you just look at the icon here, you can see several things and they get uh, merged into one thing. So that's aggregation. So combine a field from many items into a single item. In uh, in make, if you're coming from make, it's uh, from make.com, it's the aggregator. So there's iterators and aggregators. This is the aggregator. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so there's two types. So we can either aggregate everything into a single list or we can choose what we want to aggregate, okay? Let's choose, for example, I just want the name and I'm gonna test, there you go. So we have the name and every and every other name that we have in this, uh, in this data, database. So as you can see here, zero, one, two, this reminds us that this is an array. And if we go to JSON, and yes, we guessed it, this is an array. So it takes all of these and it aggregates them into array. Same thing that make.com does with this aggregator node. Okay, so this is an array. Everyone has an index, okay? It starts with the zero. I can rename this field to whatever I want, for example. Then you can see it renamed the array name, okay? And I can add other ones as well. So let me, I just wanna get the email, test. So now I have two arrays, right? One that is first name and one that is email. All right. And I can add as much as I want. Now let's try all items and let's test. There you go. Now it adds all of them into one single array right and each of inside of this array there's an object okay each one has an object with the with all of the columns and the data all right as you can see here as well in the schema so i can include all fields or selected fields or accept which is good let's try this let's say i just want the name now it imports it all as well puts each one into one object and just grabs the name okay and you can say all fields except email there you go 
All right, so let's go back here and let's grab the name, okay? So what we're doing basically is we're taking, let's go back here. We're taking these seven items and we're putting them into one item, okay? Uh, and we're putting them in an array. And of course, an array, you can do all the array functions on it. And this is why you would do that. You can, you can, you can use all of the array functions that NAN provides, uh, and which is very powerful. It's one of the reasons why you would use the aggregate uh, node is to combine them into one array and then you can perform all these functions on them. All right, so this is the array in a nutshell. Uh, it's very simple. Keep in mind, I have data coming from database. It's several items and I want to put them all into one item. And I, as the image says, it's the aggregation. So it's taking everyone and putting them into one single array. Now we can choose what we want to put in this briefcase called array. We can choose what we want to put. We can mix and choose and choose whatever we want. We can put everything inside, okay? So it depends on what we want to put inside of that array, okay? So an array is just a briefcase of item that I can choose and put anything inside of it, okay? And an array is index-based. So what means is that each item is referenced with a number. It starts with zero and it goes uh, along the way, okay? An example of that, of that if I do the edit fields and I come in and grab this, which is the array, as you can see here, array. Now I can, if I put this and zero, it grabs only the first one, which is Jack. If I put two, if I put uh, five, I can choose what I want to pick, okay? And since this is an array, if I put dot, I will get all of the array functions, which is the append, uh, the chunk, the compact, so many of them first is empty, is not join, uh, merge, whatever I want to do. All right. So uh, uh, the, let's say, for example, you just put, want to put them all together, like you can do join, right? And join j does that, just puts them all into and puts the comma. And you can you can say what you want to the separator. You can just put nothing and it will be all one right and if you want you can put space and there you go okay this is just join this is one of the functions of the array this is what why you want you would want to make them an array so you can just uh use all of these powerful functions i will i will do another video on the functions of the array and i'll go over these we'll go over these together okay so this is the aggregate node uh, which is a very powerful node all right so that's what I wanted to explain in this video, the aggregate node. Uh, I encourage you to start using the aggregate node in your workflows. It's very beneficial whenever you have a list of items that you just want to pick and choose what you want. Imagine you have a database of so many columns and you only need the specific columns. You don't need everything else. Then you can aggregate that into an array and then you can pick and choose what you want from those uh, columns. And then after you do, you can, you can even, after you do this, for example, if we got, uh, if in the, uh, here, if we get the, another field, let's get the email, right? If I got both of these, right? If I got like this, uh, we have the name and the email, right? I can... I can here, I can add a um, split out, which we, we, which is the exact opposite in terms of icon, right? Uh, then I, I would say, okay, what do I want to split out? I can say, okay, I want to split out the name and let's test. There you go. Now I have seven items again of the name. Okay. And, and here you can put, uh, Let's say name, and let's say email, and let's test. There you go. Now we got the name and the email as well uh, as seven items, right? So now we have this. 
uh, we we the the whole purpose was to clean to clean our database with with a lot of columns. We put them in an array and then we split them out. It's the same thing we do in Make. It's uh, you do you put an iterator and then you put an aggregator. Uh, yes. Uh, so this is how. But but here in uh, in. Uh, in N8 and the iterator is called split out. That's the whole difference. All right, so uh, I hope this lesson was beneficial to you guys. If you did like it, give it a like, uh, subscribe to check out the other videos that I will do. Don't forget to check out the link in the description below. I hope this video was beneficial to you and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.